Okay, everybody, here we are back in our storage room, and I'm standing on the materials that I have um, been grinding for to accomplish our objective of crafting a full double chest of beacons. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is going to be the most boring uh, segment of any YouTube video ever made. But I've got my, there's the replay mod finishing for some of the grinding that we'd done. So I hope to be able to make that into a video bef and combine that. So we have two shulkers full of um, uh, nether stars. And again, that's only, <laughs> that's just a little more than half what we have. So, uh, but our goal is to convert all of those into one double chest full of beacons. And to do that, we need uh, three double chests full of obsidian. So that's what we've got here, six shulkers. And we need five double chests of glass. And that's what we've got here, ten shulkers full of glass. <laughs> and so... Um, I don't know the best way to do this, but I'm just going to chuck a bunch of these on the floor. And then I'm going to, you know, ideally we'd have a good mix of three, five to three to one, but um, we don't. I've got way too many um, obsidian here. So we're going to run out of glass like real fast, but then we can just turn around and refill our glass. So I guess this is how we're going to do this. Just refill whatever we're running out of. We're half done, guys. One full shulker of beacons. <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? Let's just take nine at a time. And the math was pretty easy here on how much we needed. We should be, com all of these shulkers should be completely empty, except for the ones that we're putting beacons in <laughs> when we're finished here. This is it. This should make a complete even number of beacons. There should be no material left. And this should fill up this shulker. And it did. <laughs> okay. And all of the rest of that is empty. There it is, guys. There's our big flex. <laughs> that was quite a few episodes of stuff. Our wither farm to get all the wither heads. And we still have a lot of wither heads. Um, I've been AFKing there. We had to build our, obviously, our wither killing machine, and then we had to build our obsidian farm. We should build a uh, super smelter so I could smell a whole bunch of glass real fast, but maybe that's something we'll do in the future. But <laughs> there you go, a box of beacons. Box of beacons. Well, hey, everybody, we're back. Um, I'm up at the top of our sheep farm, our uh, wool farm, our barn, and I thought this might be a good time to just give you a little update of some of the things I've been doing. I've just been 
messing around here at the base, actually, uh, doing a little bit of landscaping and tree growing and pumpkin. You know, I, was, I thought I would try for a little Halloween decoration, but I'm not doing very well at that. I've just got a few pumpkins around and stuff like that. But um, anyway, let's do a little... Let's do a little update of what how things are going. So first of all, in the sheep farm, you know, we've been <coughs> generating quite a bit of wool. So we've got, let's see, wow, these are full, and there we go. <laughs> There's our first, uh, the first wool into the third chest. I think the other ones are a little bit behind. I don't know why, but it seems, well, orange is doing well. Oh, yeah, orange is ahead. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the status of our wool farm. We've got two full chests, and we're just starting in on the top uh, chest. And I don't know if I've showed you this or not, but um, I went ahead and put some chests back here and stored... So I've got two, uh, three and a half chests of every color completely full back here. And now we're filling, filling up these three chests again, along with the hoppers. Once we get that done, I'll probably just turn it off and uh, let it sit idle. But um, we've got a lot of wool, plenty of wool. And... I think I've I think we've seen most of this stuff already planted trees I'm gonna go sleep because I want to show this in the daytime so I'll be right back okay we're back <laughs> so anyway I showed this uh, path and trees and everything before and how I tried to create you know sort of interesting views of our builds as much as I could. I'm not very good at it. Um, <laughs> I keep threatening to do something here, but that's going to be such a big project. I just, I have no stomach for it at this point. But I did want you to notice this. Um, I removed the sugar cane. So we've got... Um, we've got six double chests full of sugar cane out here, and I loaded up one other one uh, in our storage room. So I think we've got plenty of sugar cane for now. But just in case we need more, I did I did relocate it. So I I did some stuff back here. That was a graceful landing. So I put some sugar cane back here. It doesn't look that great. I, I was trying to make a little farming, farmy looking stuff out behind our barn. But um, so I got a wheat, I got a wheat farm growing and the sugar cane. So again, here we're going down the. Uh, Going down our path, we get this kind of dramatic view of Vale Mansion coming into into view as we round that corner. We've kind of Halloweened <laughs> the castle a little bit with some witches guarding the entrance here. And then we kind of, I think I did show this, but I can't remember if I had planted these trees or not. I planted some trees over here. I'm keeping them away from this side for the most part just because anything planted out here would would obstruct our view as we come up that way and I don't want to do that so I need to figure out something that I can do out there but anyway so our our path I think is looking pretty good it's you know weathered and old and scraggly which is not my original d intent you know, and then we uh, chopped holes in our hedge so it looks unkempt, if you will. 
I found some more cats. I went over to the village that's on the other side of that little savanna area over there and captured more cats because and I killed our other ones to get their heads. I got a few cat heads. Feel bad about that, but um they quit standing up. So I got new ones and these are still standing up, fortunately. I don't know maybe if they sit for some period of time they won't stand up anymore. And then I've done our witch guardians on this side over here as well. I've planted trees around this path and the little azalea bushes. So um, I went off over in that direction and found a, I don't know what biome it is, but just a bunch of rocks and stuff, ro stone, you know, area. I think, I don't know, that's, I tried to grow azalea or moss. I took our moss block. We had one moss block. I can't remember how we got it. I think we traded a wandering villager for it very early, but we had one. So I took it and bone mealed it in a stone, you know, area and got more moss and some azalea um, bushes flowering azalea bushes and then grew those into trees and harvested some flowering azalea leaves. So anyway, I did that. And then the other side is similarly, similarly done. Uh, the only difference is these guardians are um, evoker heads and not witch heads. I think the witches look better, so I might replace those. But I've done other stuff here, growing trees. So all the trees are naturally grown. I have not tried to build any trees, even this one. So I have I just planted um, multiple oak trees and then put the blocks around it at the fourth layer to make them grow into big trees. So I just did two together and then filled in a few of these blocks to make it look like that. But I, <clears throat> I just really have no stomach for tree building. I am I'm terrible at it. I don't know how to do it. Um, I wish I could learn because I wouldn't mind. There. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I need to watch Good Times with Scar because I know he's really good at it. Find an episode where he's building them. So anyway, just a little update. I think our area is looking pretty sweet, actually. Um, even with the natural trees. You know, it'd be cool to build a, a really dramatic, large a couple of specimens, you know, maybe a, a spruce tree that was just gigantic back in here. But anyway, guys, there's our base area. I think it's looking pretty sweet myself. So the other thing I've done, let me just quickly show you. Before we talk about our next project, I do have some, but I did want to show you that I have built a portal to the uh, raid farm and this is going to allow us to um, this is going to allow us to keep some keep a mob you know some mobs in chamber when we leave you know the problem is if you have mobs in that killing chamber and you fly away from here there's a good chance that they all despawn when you get a certain number of blocks away but if you just if you disappear and these chunks just immediately unload which is what happens when you go into the nether and then um, our base is far enough away so that the chunks do not reload again when we're there so these chunks just stay unloaded until we come back through that portal you can keep a 
collection of mobs in there. And so you can see we've got some, it's hard to see, I've put, that may not have been a good idea, but um, there are some in there with flags on their heads. So when we kill these mobs, we'll get bad omen and we don't have to go to the, ra to the uh, outpost every time. So this will make a little time saver to use it. We have been using it quite a bit. We've got quite a few emeralds piled up and stuff. Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, guess what we're gonna do is our next project. <laughs> I kind of made a uh, an idea board in Vale Mansion, and I started off with I was thinking the next thing we would do would build be to build our charged creeper mob head farm, but then I came up with just kind of a list of some other things that I thought would make good project episodes. And one of the items was a witch farm. Because, you know, we get some redstone and glowstone and gunpowder. Not that we need any gunpowder, but we get, you know, redstone and glowstone at our, um, at our raid farm, but not enough, not as much as we need or as much as we'd like to have anyway. So I'm gonna build a witch farm. I'm gonna build uh, Logical Geek Boys, not the one that he put on his Simply Minecraft series, but the one that he did, he did a tutorial of the one he built on the SMP, legacy SMP server, which is a, um, allows you to use your looting sword to kill the witches manually and get a lot more loot that way. So you can AFK with an auto clicker and get a ton of stuff. So that's the one we're going to build. And I found a witch hut here. I was actually looking for a black cat because um, I wanted a black cat or two at the mansion for Halloween. And so I went and found some witch huts, and I found this one, which is actually really ideal because it's out here in this water. I, um, and then I lit up some of the area that I thought I would need to, but it turns out that I didn't need to light any of that up. <laughs> um, and then there's a little cave over there, too, that has a uh, actually has a dungeon a uh, zombie dungeon in it I lit all that up and I actually found a, a mending book in that chest at the which doesn't mean anything now but it would have been great to find early game something like that anyway sorry I'm babbling a, uh, this is the witch hat we're going to use <clears throat> and I don't need to light hardly anything up actually nothing because when I I used, uh, I downloaded uh, Logical Geek Boy's world download for the farm, and I measured out to e the exact spot where we're going to AFK, which is above this block, um, to the south, facing south. I don't, direction isn't important, but I just went ahead and built, measured it the way he built it. So if measuring south away from the witch hut. And I don't know if our witch hut is in the same orientation as his. I didn't check that, but none of that's going to matter. Um, and then I pillared my way up to where the AFK spot is and did a, a spawning sphere, despawning sphere. And here it is. So you can see that... Well, you can't see unless I could fly. I mean, so there we go. So you can see that none of that land is within a couple of blocks is all. And then there's no, um, there's no caves that I could find under this spot. I went down in this cave and looked around. And I mean, there may be something underground there. I'm not sure. We may have to explore a little further but um but anyway this is our so this is our witch hut and it's a good spot so anyway i pillared my way up to the uh like i said to the uh 
AFK spot and did that despawning sphere. The other thing I did while I was up there was, uh, let's turn this off. Was build the, um, oh, can't fly from that. The other thing I did was build everything that needs to be up here. So I've, I've done quite a bit of work actually. <laughs> Not much. I mean, all I did was build a, uh, a storage facility. I didn't, I figured that I might as well just get that out of the way since that's just a uh, standard thing. I'm using some of our crying obsidian. I love the particle effects that that stuff has. Now, this is our, this is our AFK block right above there. And then I build a portal so we can get here. This is quite a ways away. You can see my coordinates. I'm at negative 3,400 and, and about 5,000 in the Z direction. So quite a ways away. And, uh, and so I've just kind of built this stuff. This is where the witches are going to end up landing, and we're going to chop them up with our, with our looting sword. And this is the... Um, this right here is the tube that they're going to be flying up in the air from. So this is our next project, guys. I thought this was appropriate since it's uh, nearly Halloween. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.